Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode, we slapped down the Mongol Empire for daring to attempt to declare war on us. Uh, we also handled a small rebellion, nothing too serious. Um, we did a little bit of uh, management work, and we were able to assassinate that guy down there. And we removed the truce. So, we now can probably declare another series of wars against this guy. I just noticed that the, the Maldives are down here. We're going to declare war on them. Um, we're going to go to war with pretty much everybody but this guy. Um, and take a whole pile of land, hopefully. Alright, so let's just take care of what outstanding issues we have. Alright, my daughter needs a guardian. Um, who... A dutiful cleric. Hmm... Let's send her... Ooh, he's a genius. Yes. Alright, so we have an online assignment. We're not going to worry about that. Anything else we need to worry about here? Oh, we can press that promotion. I'm pausing here for a second. There we go. Ooh, what's he doing? Syrian Revolt. Okay, he's helping out the guys in the Syrian Revolt. This is a situation I've ignored. I thought I already got this event. And I said I was going to support them. Strange. Alright. Well, pretty much we were just ready to go to war, so we might as well go ahead and take care of that. So let's start Hand out declarations of war. So you, holy war. Does your claim on the Maldives for who? Is he not like Buddhist? And can I not like declare a holy war? Oh well. We'll worry about that later then. I'll declare war on you. We need to take that little bit right there. I'll declare war on you. What will we want to take? I see this piece. We'll declare war on you. What do we want here? No. That's a tiny little piece. Uh, nothing's going to be nice and clean in there. Let's see if we go for that bit. We gotta start taking those pieces. Alright, you declare war. Yep, let's take that. You declare war for whatever you've got. There we go. How many troops do you have? You have 15, 16,000 troops. Alright. 30,000 should be plenty to deal with that guy. Seventy thousand troops. 
Another 70,000 troops. A 50,000 troops. And then what we're going to do is we're going to raise up the navies in case we need more reinforcements. Navies, navies. Oh, that's a revolt. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and pause it. Start immediately marching our guys there. Wipe his army out. Why oh, do we take like one tick of attrition for almost 9,000 troops? Let's just start marching in. Ten to fifty three thousand already. Another dar that needs education here. Uh, let's see. Someone who's looks decent. Send her over to him as well. Let's walk you through here and here. There we go. There's an army. If I can get his army, I think his army is retreating. I managed to catch that army, that's good. Victory. Let's merge these guys up. So how are we doing? Let's see if we can siege these guys out of the wars. Like, really early. I want you to swing to his capital, start sieging his capital down. Knock that guy out real quick. Victory. Recently, number of complaints from the merchants nearby town about the Jane, naked Jane aesthetics. I'll use my diplomacy skill on that one. Yep, we'll accept the ransom. Of course, we're going to hold a title. Extra Greece, he probably wants problems with Thrace. No. Even though he has most of the. The county's there now. I'm going to keep the province title. Oh. Did I just win that war? Very nice. Okay, so where is that... Those pieces going to go? Or rather, they already go to the guy who's supposed to have them.
But it looks like it did, somehow. Interesting. I didn't quite catch what happened there. Well, let's siege this guy out. Excellent. Victory. Alright, that guy's done. You guys march in there. Which uh, kingdom was this a piece of? Uh, the Jour Kingdoms. It's part of Delhi, so that goes to this guy. Uh, Grant landed the title. That little bit right there. Alright, so. Let's we'll have you march there. We'll have you march here to meet them. Put this unit, swing a guy that way. Make sure that that army doesn't, like, complete any sieges. Oop. That county's complete. Your caser comes to see you one afternoon. He explains he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment, but the potential profits would also be great. Yeah, so let's organize the expedition. Time has come to outfit the ship for the trading expedition. The Harbor Master shows you a large ship with a sizable cargo hold. That'll be perfect for the job. But it does come at a hefty price. Okay, 200 gold, no problem. Oh, victory. Trading expedition, group of augers. Sure. go we got uh, we got an army marching in time to set on the trading expedition oh boy okay we got multiple large armies approaching What I'd like to do is cross here. Despot Armenia from Despot. Oh, Armenia came back, so let me go deal with that. Because again, that tends to mess with my ability to raise troops properly. Alright, so let's do this. Let's raise his army. 55,000 troops. Uh, swing them in over here. Now you're going to split your army? Perfect. I'll wait till your army splits. Uh, let's see. Your expedition finally reached the realm of Samret. The guy I'm at war with. <laughs> that... That's kind of silly. Uh, let's see. A chest with quality cloth from back home will give us a gift. Alright, so we're smashing that guy's army. Dinner, you notice this guy. If I remove the Norns, is a steward shoveling food into his mouth with his bare hands. Despot Theodosius is ju the just is only paying respect to Jupiter in accordance with. Um, okay, so yeah, we'll go with the learning. Uh, discussion of increasing intensity. 
This is one of the, the augurs from the expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with one with a local noble. Yes, it must be stopped. Even though we're eventually going to convert them. The long hours of negotiating, discussing possible terms of trade. Me and the guy I'm currently at war with, and whose land I am actively trying to steal, we have come at a mutual understanding. All right, gain 500 gold, 150 prestige, city tax, castle tax, tribal tax, and some more stewardship. Good. Oh, they converted the Hellenic faith. I will reward him appropriately. Slightly improving move his faction, very good. I think this guy only needs like one more siege and then he's done. Yep, there it goes. So that war is over. And that little bit should go to this guy. There we go. Alright, so... Oh. We... Syria Palestinia needs to be fixed. Okay. So... Let's see... Now, I wonder if I can't transfer... Is this the only title he holds? No, it isn't. Oh well, never mind then. We will make this guy Viceroy. There we go. Alright, so... Where's our ship? Where's our ship? Okay. Ooh, actually, we need to redirect. Hopefully they can hold out for long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Uh, hold on, we probably need to hand out on the commander. Yep, there we go. Come on, come on, hold out. There we go. Yep, suddenly things are not so good for that guy. Alright. War is over. Okay, so these guys can merge up. Start marching this way. I might as well let that siege finish. Uh, where is this stuff going? Alright, who is this going to? Where are my du jour vassals? Um, this guy or this guy? It's going to this guy. Grant landed title. There we go. Uh, let's see. Going to retake my rightful titles. Leon, um, yeah, he will let him recruit. Let's actually siege the war goal. 
Oh, looks like that guy decided to rejoin the war. And let's take these 40,000 men. Start marching towards their capital. Defeat? Oh. Because I retreated. So I gave a movement order while they were fighting. Whoops. No big deal. My guy currently isn't on the front lines, so we won't have that happen again. Where we accidentally retreat from a battle and then get captured. And then lose a war. By accident. Let my son... Educate... See, anyone here look like a decent person? This fossil opinion should all be fine right now, so we're just gonna go based on stats. You! You're Greek and Hellenic? And you're my kinsman. Perfect. Let's just see if we can smash an army. Uh, interesting. Okay, he didn't have an heir. Alright, that's okay. We can deal with that in a moment. Ooh, he hit me with a large army. about to win, but something happened. Uh, did we just have a... Hold on. Uh, yep. Persia came back. Alright, you. And it's, uh, Vice Royalty. There we go, send that out. Need to finish up this war. And we'll attack that guy. June 10th, June 14th, change plans. June 20th, June 28th. July 1st. It's because I'm crossing the river. My wife. Wait a minute. My wife is Augur. No, I'm not firing my wife. Well, speaking of my wife. Another kid needs a guardian? Or is this the same kid? I think this might be the same kid. Alright, anybody look interesting? Ooh. I can educate myself. Sure, why not? Let's wipe out that army. Set the ransom. Let's see if we can go grab another army. Victory. And run some sieges here. While we're running some sieges, we're going to do a couple of things here. Not in prison, because I think... Yeah, we need a couple more concubines. How old is she? 30? Okay, that's fine. 
Not married. Not a ruler. Desperate of Afghanistan. Adult. Yes. Great house. No. Anyone with genius? No. Anyone quick? 16 year old. Take concubine? Yes. And the 27 year old. Yeah, let's take her as concubine as well. Yep, there we go. Ah, we can't let them break that siege. here for a moment. Actually, no. Merge the army. Get this siege done, and then clear that siege. Uh, I can bring in 17,000 more troops. back in the dungeon. Let's do this. Let's just finish the wars and we'll hand the titles back out. Don't want to let them get that, uh, that land back. Alright, drop your men. My daughter gave birth to a stillborn son. Oh. 8,000 men. March you to the capital and start sieging there. Had to break up a fight between my son, Antiochus, and another child today. He's filled with envy. Let's see if we can talk to him about kindness. Three children lack a guardian. Really? You... Let's get with you... Chase down and destroy that army. This guy's being stubborn. Oh, we have some technology to work on. Let's go with light infantry. Let's go with... Uh, Majesty, I guess. Get back to our sieged holdings. Do 
protect them. Good. All right, 100%. Finally. Offer peace and force demands. There we go. All right, so all of this territory. Let's see, is there any of it that needs to go to... Du jour kingdoms? Uh... Is your kingdoms? No, all of it's got to go to a new vassal. Alright, so you can stop marching. You can stay right there. You need to get into our territory. They need to port up somewhere. Alright, so let's find a guy to hand this out to. Yep, of course I'll come. We're gonna do men, not in prison, any, no, my religion, my culture, yes, great house, no, you, that province. And you will grant more landed titles. That province there. And we'll grant more landed titles. That guy right there. There we go. Alright, so Afghanistan we need to deal with. You are going to be a Viceroy. There we go. Uh, yep, we'll adopt his ideas. Okay. That was a fairly successful string of wars there. These guys are dwindling. This guy's got only a couple more pieces left we can probably take. And then it's going to be a matter of grinding these guys down bit by bit. This guy might take a while. Alright. Hold on. A few things we can deal with. And a commander. Gardener. Uh, no one can be librarian. Sensor. All good there. Adventure threat, 5th of July, 1229. So it's coming up here shortly. We can usurp his title. Yep, usurped his title. And we're going to grant that title to that guy. There we go. The du jour empires. Okay, so all this is now du jour part of the Macedonian Empire. And all this is starting to drift in. I don't know why Persia isn't. Or Nubia. Everything else up here has. It's odd. Alright, well, before we end the episode here, let's just do a quick look around places. We'll wait for this adventure threat to show up. Let's just pause it. Alright, Georgia is still kicking. Kumani has either gone or changed his name. Uh, the Mongol Empire is still fractured. This guy managed to grab some land after I smashed his army. 
Sweden's looking good. England's looking good. Ireland is starting to put itself together a little bit. And they got a big chunk of Scotland there. France is kind of odd looking there. Brittany is nice and independent. Aquitaine looks good. Andalusia's got a bit of a mess on its hands. Sicily is actually taking some territory. Croatia looks good. Capua is kind of all over the place. Bohemia, Upper Lorraine, oh, it's kind of bisecting Australia there. Hey, Lithuania is formed. All right, let's see. Let me look at the religion map. Hellenics everywhere. Uh, conversion is running pretty well here in India. Actually, I need to move my auger. Send her over there. Which I think that's actually my wife, right? Yep. Uh, let's see about culture. Yeah, Greek is starting to spread a little bit here in India. It spread pretty well here in Egypt and Nubia. And started to spread into Ethiopia a little bit. Alright. Yep. Things are looking good. It'll be too much longer here than all of India. We painted my color. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead. We're going to end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.